there we are on the border, Border Gate Hotel. That used to be my local. Was owned by a retired Pommy sailor. Bit of a hard man. The rules were the pub opened when the first customer arrived, closed when the first last customer left. As you may see, it's in New South Wales. The outhouses and everything are in South Australia. And of course, over on this side of town, South Australia, is where the local walloper hangs out who has no jurisdiction over yonder in New South Wales. Bordergate Hotel would um, cash our paychecks. I was working down there, about 60, 60, 70 kilometres, I guess. The ne next house down the drive. We would come in on a Friday night, they would cash our paychecks. We would get drunk, get a carton of fags, box of beer, off home. And that was the end of our paycheck. It was 50 bucks a week plus found. At least they had the decency to feed us. Lamb chops, sorry, mutton chops for breakfast, cold meat sandwiches for lunch, roast for dinner. Seven days a week. It was pretty rough. We managed. Over yonder is the Coburn pub, South Australia. It backs on to Mollyungri Station, which uh, was part of the part of the Mutaru Pastoral Company that I was working for. The Boundary Rider, we worked on the over towards the dog fence, and when we went to cattle camp there, the Boundary Rider would come in for his holidays. He could drive from his camp 60, 70 k's to the pub park up in the back door of the pub, stay there for his 10 days, load up with beer and head back home. He never had to register his car because he never actually took it onto the road. He did that for, 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 reputedly forever. He was uh, never one for going very far, but that was his summer holidays. Pub loved him, they give him a credit, line of credit, put him in a back room. He was fine. Coburn pub on the South Australia side of the track. I was 18. You could drink in Australia, but you couldn't drink in New Zealand. It was heaven. I took a took a girl into the public bar. It was it was uh, 1975. It's not quite the right thing to do. So we got sent down to the lounge bar bit at the back, which was just an extension of the main bar with a with a. <laughs> with a um, screen but we did what we had to I think they'd just be happy to see you now they wouldn't care which bar you bar you drank in. It is 42 k's to Mutaru. Spent um, about three, no, two months, I guess, working working down there. Um, looks pretty flat, but you go down 42 k's and you're on the edge of those hills. Mutaru was cheap. It was um, quite a big station. It's it's Mutaru Pastoral Company. It's got uh, three or four properties um, coming from New Zealand where. We were working on a hundred acres farms with uh, six sheep to the acre. You come out here and it was six acres to the sheep and the, the house paddock was bigger than the farm I'd been working on. Up yonder is the uh, turn off to Molly Ungary. 
you don't know why they didn't just make a straight road but uh, somebody in their wisdom decided we needed a dog leg um, Mooderoo was sheep actually this is Mooderoo up onto this 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 boundary fence here and then Molly Ungary just keeps on going um, Molly Ungary is a cattle station where everything was done on horseback first day I ever rode a horse rode 39 mile thank goodness I went to boarding school or I wouldn't have had a clue what pain was um, as you can imagine when you're out there in the middle of the uh, that's the um, Monday, Monday plane. When you're sitting on your horse, you're quite literally the tallest thing. Tallest thing there is, and you've quite literally got a horizon of 181 degrees of arc, which is uh, coming from New Zealand, where such a thing is quite impossible. Um, completely different light perspective. Molly Ungri, 64Ks. So I left Mutaru, drove the 110Ks to Molly Ungri to do a cattle camp. Arrived about 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Couldn't see anyone. The overseer's wife, sorry, the head stockman's wife, pointed me to the Jackaroos quarters and um, turned up. Lots of cars, utes, Chevy utes. They were very popular and uh you know dogs and yeah it's definitely the place but couldn't see anybody so i walked had a look around walked into the shower block and there was 12 blokes shaving their legs and i just shrugged my shoulders and realized i'm in a different country here and uh proceeded to find a place to make myself make myself at home the next day riding the horses found out what they're shaving their legs for had nothing but stubble, it was gone. Yellow. Yeah, well. Look and learn.